All right, so I don't have much right here. What I have are these little pots that I purchased from the dollar store. So I picked these up because of the grooves. We wanna add some gold leaf detailing in these grooves. So I think this is perfect for that. You're just gonna need any sort of paintbrush, nothing fancy to apply your white paint. And then we are going to need some gold leafing. So I actually picked this up on Amazon. This is a champagne gold leaf. Normally you can get it at the dollar store. I just didn't happen to find it this time around, but I know that dollar store carries gold leafing. So we're gonna cover that up just because these are really delicate. And I have a designated brush to brush off any of the excess gold leafing. So first thing you want to do is coat your pot in some white paint. And you're going to see that we don't even need any adhesive for the gold leafing because the wet paint is going to act as an adhesive. You want to get into those grooves because that's where you're applying the gold leaf. So you want to make sure that there is paint in those grooves. You can also do this step with a foam brush. Okay, so this looks great. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually just paint the top white as well. The trick to applying the gold leaf is to wait a little bit until this dries. So you can either just wait till it's drying out a little bit, not too long, because it really does not take too long, or to speed up the process, you can go in with a blow dryer and just lightly blow dry and then start applying your gold leaf right away. Now I'm gonna wanna go in with my gold leafing. Now this is very, very delicate. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna rip off a little piece of the gold. You don't even have to tug that hard for it to come off. I'm just going to pick up my cup like this and then I'm going to apply it to the grooves just like that. So this is the part where you can either go in with your brush or your finger. Look, you can just gently press it in with your finger or you can press it in with your brush. I see that the paint is still a little bit wet, so I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry. So if you see it kind of getting a little moist like that, then you know that your paint is not dry enough for this process. It should be just tacky, not completely wet. So I'm gonna go in with the blow dry again and then try this step again. Picking up another little piece of the gold. I'm pressing it into the grooves. If you see that your gold is not sticking too well, you can actually go in with some water. So you can go in with a spray bottle and reactivate the paint. But I think this is actually just sticking perfectly right there. I wanna have some coming off the top there. And the more pressure you apply, pushing it out, it actually ends up crushing the gold. So it depends if you want that chunkier bit or if you want that kind of sparse look where there's just gold speckles, you can just use more pressure and push it out with your finger to get that effect. I'm even just gonna go in and do the rim since I have some gold leaf left over. If you want to be gentle, I would suggest using the brush over your fingers. This is where it has that advantage. It's only gonna dust off the excess so it won't act as like a pressure thing, you know? And I'm going to spray one more time at the top here and go in again with those same chunks. So I'm going to add a little bit more there. You can really see the imprint of the flower there. That's super pretty. And that is about it, friends. Fill this up with your soil and then your little plant. And then you're going to have something that looks like this. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for any more DIYs, I would love to hear any suggestions that you have. And I will see you next week. Bye.